Hi, everybody. Um, you don't hear from people like me very often um, because they're the nerves and the beating heart, which I have right now, and the sweaty bits um, are a bit too much to, to handle for many shy people. I remember the day that shyness took over my life. Um, I was 14, roughly, and I was at school in a French lesson. On that day, we were using um, the language laboratory, which back in the day was very high-tech with um, cassettes and headphones. I put the headphones on and recorded myself speaking about a French film which I had seen. I fancied myself as a kind of very chic, uh, bohemian, French kind of wannabe. Um, said my piece, hit play, and listened back to um, my very poor French accent. And a strange thing happened because the voice I heard speaking was that of a very small child saying what I had said, weirdly, what are the chances that that would happen? I got really confused and then I had one of those moments where, I don't know if you've ever had this, but my stomach kind of fell away and this kind of coldness <laughs> set in and I realised that that was me. I was absolutely mortified um, and I realised that that's how I sound. I'd never heard my voice before. So I made a decision on that day, a limiting decision, one that would influence my life for about another 25 years. Um, I decided to hide. I decided I would never speak to people that I didn't know ever again. I would never ring anybody in case they laughed at me. I would never stand on a stage, um, be in a video, be anywhere that anyone would kind of see me or judge me. Um, I basically spent the next few years lurking in the shadows of my own life watching other people do things that I felt like I was perfectly capable of doing, except I couldn't. Did I tell anyone about this? Of course I didn't. And that's the thing with shyness. We like to hide. We don't get on the stage. We don't push ourselves forward on social media. We don't pitch our ideas. We don't go for promotion, ask for a pay rise. We don't talk to the press. And so all our ideas and thoughts, all the valuable gifts and talents that we have stay locked up inside us. And we're kind of invisible. And in society, we don't talk about shyness. And when we're silent, all those worries and all that uncertainty and all those insecurities and awkwardness, it all just stays inside us, locked away, and we keep it to ourselves. And when we do that, it doesn't just magically go away, it grows. And then the other difficult thing is, because we're not talking about it, all the other shy people feel like they're alone too. So shyness makes you feel isolated and alone. And yet you're not alone because, according to research, 57% of people are shy in, in Britain, 57%. And around the world, that's on average about 50%. 50% of people feel this way. And 99% of people have felt shy at some point in their lives. So... If it's normal and you're not alone, um, especially now, I feel like it's something that we should talk about a little bit more. And given everything we've just lived through with the past couple of years, 
um, with the pandemic and all that isolation, social distancing, I'm sure that if we did the research again, the number would be even higher. If half of all humans are shy, we can't all be broken. And yet we're always made to feel like we are, like we need fixing or we need to somehow change ourselves to fit in with this kind of outgoing ideal of a human. It's like only loud people are acceptable in society. And we start to hear that message from school and it, it goes all through our lives. We hear that message, you know, in politics, in the media, in business everywhere really, you have to be like this in order to be successful, in order to succeed in life. But I don't think we need to change. I think we need shy people. I think our voices matter. I think we need a range of personalities and perspectives in society, a range of voices, and that everyone deserves to be heard. I actually believe that shyness is a diversity issue um, and that we need to do something to make sure that we're more represented in politics, um, in the media, in business and in society as a whole. Because we're not shy because we've got nothing to say. We have ideas and thoughts and all kinds of solutions inside us. It's just that it's difficult to get a word in and we struggle to find our voices. So imagine, every time you have a meeting, how many people are quiet, how many people are basically silent? Every time there's a challenge in your business, how many solutions are missed? Every time you have a brainstorm, where it's kind of the loudest people just shouting out, how many innovations are missed or silenced? I believe that is the silent potential in our society. After a particularly painful panel experience with a very loud lineup, where I literally had to try and fight people for the microphone, I am actually a boxer, but I didn't use those skills on that occasion. <laughs> I thought that might be a bit inappropriate. Um, I decided to do something about it. I decided to try and change the way we think about shyness and set off on this softly spoken mission to help shy people to become more mighty. I set up a podcast, Shine Mighty. Um, I ended up writing two books about shyness. And now I speak, a bit weird really, I speak to lots of people on stages and have to hold a microphone. Um, in schools and in organisations about this subject. I've even been on the radio and TV talking about shyness. I want to start a kind of shy revolution. Um, a very quiet one, obviously. <laughs> to unleash the silent potential in our society. Okay, so if you're shy yourself, um, or you know people who are shy, and I guarantee you do, here are some things that you can try. Okay, the first thing to do is to make friends with your shyness. It's not shameful or embarrassing, and I think it's okay to talk about it, read about it, learn about it. There's two very good books I can recommend. <laughs> try and understand when you are shy, why and how it feels and kind of what triggers it. Because when you kind of understand it, you can do something with it, you can work with it. Um, I'd like to just make sure you all realise that it's just part of you. You know, shyness is part of me, it's not all of me. Um, I'm shy but I'm also quite silly and I'm good at boxing. You know, it's just part of who I am. Um, it doesn't need to be all of me. And I'm not shy all the time, I'm shy sometimes, and it can come and go at different times. Part of learning as well, I think, is understanding the introvert, extrovert thing. I'm actually an extrovert. I like hanging out with people, but I need time to warm up, and I'd probably rather hang out with one of two of you at a time. <laughs> um, 
So I think a bit of education goes a long way. When you understand it, you can do something about it. Embrace the upside of shyness. Okay. I think we've got skills um, in spite of our shyness and also because of it. Like I said, it's not that we have nothing to say. We're not disengaged or disinterested or a bit thick, like some people might think. Um, we have skills. We've got the potential, I believe, to become powerful and quiet leaders. We're careful, we're considered. We don't just jump in and do random things on a whim. We, not, we might not be good at blagging it, but when we've prepared and done our research, um, we have deep insights and we can come up with lots of really good ideas. We love a bit of research and some planning and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, and like I said, we might not be great at working the room, but we are really good at kind of deeper um, connections with fewer people. So try and embrace the upside of being shy. Don't always think of it as um, a problem that needs to be solved. <coughs> Take control and create the conditions that work for you. I mean, after all, you're the boss of your own life. You're the boss of your shyness. I think it's enough um, We've spent enough time letting it control us. Instead, um, it's up to us to look at situations, maybe work-wise or socially, and try and change things to make them work for us. It's like, don't go clubbing and try dancing on tables if that's not your cup of tea. Go to the cinema instead. You know, at work... Um, if meetings and ideation sessions are not working for you, seek to change them to make them work. And I would like to go into more detail, but I'll run out of time, so we can talk about that another time. Embracing shyness and becoming more mighty does not happen overnight. You can't just take a pill, um, even if in some countries they might try and medicate us, but that's a whole other subject. Um, it takes practice. Like, if you wanted to go to the gym you, and build massive muscles, um, you would have to train hard on a regular basis. It's the same with shyness. If you want to become more mighty, you have to practice. So, when I came in here and saw all of you and the fact that there's, like, seats going up into the sky, I did have a minor cardiac incident. <laughs> But I've practiced, I've done this before, and um, you know, it's not like I just clicked my fingers and was able to do it. I'm not saying it's easy, but there's ways. Um, it's about taking small and consistent steps out of your comfort zone, exhibiting, I guess, comfortable courage. And when you do that consistently and regularly, um, you can take steps out of the shadows and towards a bigger life. You know, I didn't used to be able to pick up the phone and ring people that I didn't know. And I remember the first time I made a video, I cried, which is a bit weird, but I don't know why I'm telling you that. But now, <laughs> I'm here on the stage and I'm holding a microphone and it's okay. Um, so... I guess to conclude, I've realised that shyness is part of me. Um, I'm not ashamed to tell you that I'm shy. I own it and I think that's okay. And hopefully by talking about it, some of you lot who are shy will feel like it's okay to own your shyness too. Um, and since I've decided to embrace it and talk about it, I've not looked back. I haven't had to change who I am or pretend to be something that I'm not. And hopefully I'm able to help shy people of all ages all over the world to step out of the shadows too because I think we are the silent potential in society and that our voices do matter. We matter. 
and the world needs to hear our voices. Thank you. First of all, thank you. Uh, and I know that you were having a genuine minor cardiac incident <laughs> prior to the talk, so uh, thank you for, for sticking with it. Uh, I was actually thinking while you, when you were talking is, is to some extent, why does shyness even exist, right? And in the same way that if there's something wrong with it, that it should have been bred out of us by now, right? In the same way that, you know, over time people have got generally taller and, and a, a number of traits that over I time. I think we need it. Like, I think that well, in, the, in the caveman times, if everyone was out there trying to kill the beasts, then society would have been wiped out. So, uh, well, that's well, that to my next question, because to, immediately the, the first question is a little bit, is what, are, I mean, what, in, in your experience, what are shy people naturally good at? I mean, if you were going to have to hire, employ or guide a hundred super shy people to something, yeah. where, would you, where would you tend to? I think shy people are really good at researching and planning, in-depth thinking. Um, we're good at counselling and um, helping others on a more kind of one-to-one -one basis, perhaps, mm -hmm. than addressing a room. Although the lights mean you can't really see everyone, so it's okay. Um, but I think generally in society we could do better at trying to give other people a voice. So listening, um, running meetings and events and I guess kind of structures, creating structures that invite people to speak, that mm -hmm. give everyone a chance. Um, when it's people talking over each other um, or interrupting or requiring people to stand and pitch in front of lots of people in a highly pressurized situation. Um, I think that you miss out because shy people won't, we don't enter competitions, mm -hmm. we don't put ourselves forward, we don't contact the media or big up our ideas, we just create cool stuff and go, yeah, that's good. <laughs> and then we just stay at home. <laughs> so, uh, well, listen, Nari, thank you so much. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you. Thank you.